Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Esperanza. I am a full-time content creator living in Pittsburgh with my fiance and Labradoodle Indio. So I had said in my last vlog that one of my vlogs this week would be a thrift with me at my favorite Goodwill in Pittsburgh, which is the Southside location. But I don't think I'm going to be doing that this week. I may end up doing it later this week or next week, but I wanted to do a different video today, which is sharing with you guys 10 Target home decor finds for the home that I've gotten for my apartment. So these are all pretty affordable home decor finds that are very transitional yet work for a boho chic style home. So I think I'm just gonna be taking you guys room through room and sharing with you some of my favorite finds. So we'll go ahead and get started with the bedroom. So this wall rack here is from the Threshold line and it was only $20. I actually had thrifted a lot of these wall racks and sold them in my shop and then when I had the idea to get one to hang my boho purses on, I couldn't find one anywhere. So I decided to just check out Target and they did have one that I liked. So this is a brand new one. I do have another vintage wall rack in my entryway, but I was really glad I was able to find this because I could not find them for like weeks and weeks. I kept looking and I couldn't find them. So this this was a very cute and practical way to display and store my boho purses. So this bench here was a, another find from Target. I think this was from the Project 62 line and it was 110 and the funny thing is is that I found this at a Tuesday morning which is kind of like TJ Maxx or Home goods for 135 so it was actually way more affordable at Target but it was literally the exact same bench because a lot of these stores get their items from the same kinds of places but anyway I love the look of this bench it has a cane top and kind of a like transitional style for the legs so it looks really good in a boho chic home but also would work in a lot of like transitional type spaces. I like to use it to put my shoes on sometimes I'll like throw some clothes on here and right now I just have a couple of items on styled on it just to make it look cute in our bedroom. Here's a better look at that bench just so you guys can see what the top looks like. I love the cane top I think that looks super boho chic. Okay, so I have two items here in the kitchen that I want to show you guys from Target. The first is this wall shelf here, which is from the Threshold line, and it's actually two 36 inch wall shelves that I had a contractor install side by side so I could have one long shelf to display my ceramics and kitchen wares. This is just a rental, so I couldn't really do anything super major, but it was very boring beforehand and I visualized a shelf here and I'm so glad that I had that installed because it really made a big difference and it was pretty aff affordable as an upgrade. So it's another really great practical way to store and display items. And I believe that the shelves were 35 each. So the two of them were about 70, 75 after tax. And then over here in this corner, I have a hearth and hand kitchen utensil holder. So I have a couple of thrifted items in here, some spatulas and a rolling pin. And I thought that that was a very cute way to store and display those. And this kitchen utensil holder was only 15, so very affordable, very practical, and it looks super cute for kitchen decor. Okay, so this end table is also from Target, 
it is from the studio mcgee line and i believe it was 110 so this is also another very transitional style and it works really well in a boho chic setting so this was the perfect size end table to style between these two armchairs this is kind of like my reading slash office area i do a lot of work on these armchairs so that end table i think is one of the only studio mcgee items i have in my apartment most of them are from the threshold and hearth and hand line but i love the studio mcgee collection there are tons of boho items in that collection pretty much always too so if you guys are looking for boho chic decor for your apartment the studio mcgee line has a lot of really great pieces the lighting is not super great today so i'm sorry about that guys but i wanted to also show you guys two sets of prints that i got from target so i have these sepia toned palm prints here that were i believe 80 to 85 for the two of them and then i also have these monstera leaf prints which were $50 and both of them I believe were from the either the threshold line or the project 62 line I'm not positive but I'll link everything in the description of this video for you guys as long as I can find it so that you guys can purchase these if you're interested in any of the items that I'm sharing but I liked both of them for my gallery wall here on my living room wall this wall is like super long and it's also very short because it's a loft apartment and the ceiling pitches here so it's kind of like an awkward wall but I thought a gallery wall would fill it up very nicely and it did and it's a it's definitely like a really nice statement in our living room. So both of these sets were definitely very helpful in filling up this wall and they both look great in a boho style home. Okay, so I have two coffee table books here that I wanted to show you guys. I love the look of these on bookcases. They also look really great styled on like end tables, nightstands, coffee tables, things like that. So they are definitely a really good staple piece. So the books I have here are Jungalo by Justina Blakeney and Homebody by Joanna Gaines. These were both, I believe they were $28 each i'll have to verify that but i really like the look of them the green and white is super cute this actually is the paperback version when this is taken off it's more of like a seafoam blue color so i left the paperback on just because i like the white look a little bit more and then this one i took the coffee tape the um paperback off of but it was like exactly the same. But anyway, I think these look super cute styled here. I have this little DIY garland that I made and um, a photo of Skylar and I. Basically, I have like on these bookcases, I have a ton of my Urban Darling shop inventory, which is my boho shop. If you guys aren't familiar with it, I sell on Etsy and Facebook. So I use these bookcases to store my Urban Darling shop inventory, but also some of my personal items. And I style it in a way to where it looks like it's meant to be as far as like the decor in our apartments. We don't have a ton of storage in here. So this was definitely another practical decorating solution. Okay, so another Target find that I wanted to share with you guys is this media console here. I haven't been able to find it on Target, but I did find it on Amazon. So I'll either link to the Amazon one or the Target one, it just depends on if I can find it again on Target. But I believe this was like around $150. I'll try to figure it out and leave it in the description of the video for you guys. But I liked this console because the door is kind of like a fun boho look. This is just like a faux vinyl. Am I pointing at the right spot? <laughs> and then there's like a shelf unit here in the middle where I've styled some of my thrifted boho decor finds. And then there was this open, slot here where I was able to store all of my thrifted records so I was able to get like the most storage out of it possible and then of course I have a couple items 
filed on it as well. So it was another kind of like design practical storage type item for our apartment. So I could have gotten like a cabinet with two doors where you wouldn't be able to see anything, but I just like that I was able to style decor and my records in it. Okay, so the lighting isn't great in here, but I wanted to show you guys this stool from the Hearth and Hand line. This was actually $70, which was a little bit more on the expensive side, I would say, but I hadn't been able to thrift anything like this or find a more affordable option, and this was the style that I wanted. So I went ahead and splurged on this, but it's definitely another practical item because I always pull it over to the bath whenever I'm taking a bath over here, and it's just another great like catch-all. I've got some items styled on it, and it definitely looks cute in my boho style bathroom. <music> And this shower curtain was from the Casa Luna line. I love the warm, spicy, brownish red color. Looks really good in my mostly white bathroom. And I believe that it was 30 or 35, so definitely a pretty good price for a shower curtain. I think it was just a little bit more expensive than some of the other shower curtains, but it's a really amazing quality. I love like the linen texture of it and the color of it is so pretty. Okay guys, so that is it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I may do another one like this because I do have more Target home decor. So it'll either be like a 20 Target home decor finds or maybe just another video with 10 Target home decor finds. But let me know if you guys enjoyed this video in the comments below and I will also be linking all of the items that I can in the descriptions of this video. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you guys aren't currently subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing and share with a friend or family member who you think would enjoy this channel as well so that you guys can help me grow my YouTube channel. Also be sure to follow along with me on my other socials at The Urban Darling and check out my blog with urbandarling.com for more content. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!